One video was hours after the murder, showing him smoking and pointing a gun at the camera multiple times. Lewis could be heard saying, quote, I caught a whole murder like two days ago. All right, so look, man. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to say rest in peace to Leslie Baker and condolences to her family and friends. But now let's jump into the video. Today's story takes place in Dallas, Dallas, Texas, North Dallas to be exact, on Memorial Day of 2020, which is when things really kicked off, right? Jobs started firing people. You had to start wearing Rona masks. So you couldn't even really tell who's trying to rob somebody or not. Literally, everyone had on a mask. It was like the purge for criminals. They were living their life. And unfortunately for Leslie Baker, she was a victim of this uproar and crime. Now at the time, 17-year-old Anthony Lewis, him and two other individuals, tried to carjack her. They blocked her car in the driveway of her Preston Hollow home. About eight gunshots were fired. And uh, Leslie Baker was robbed of her life. Now the reason I'm bringing up this story three years later. Well, this idiot, Anthony Lewis, right? He's not 17 years old anymore. He's 20 years old, and he just faced trial, and he got sentenced. I don't know how it took them three years to come up with this decision, but he was indeed convicted for capital murder, having the opportunity of parole after 40 years in prison. That's right. You're going to jail, buddy. Went in at 17. Have no chance at all at coming out until you're at least 57. An idiot, right? Trying to carjack an old lady. And now you got a bare minimum 40 years in prison until you're even eligible for parole. And honestly, this guy's lucky he was only 17 when he committed the crime. Probably would have been way worse than this. And for the other two guys, they're still awaiting trial. Hopefully they get it just as bad as him. I'm praying for it. I'm going to pray for it tonight. Take their lives away too. They took hers away. It's only fair. I didn't know this lady. I'm just being unbiased here. They murdered that lady for no reason. Now take their life away too. That's the way I see it. Especially when you're like this guy. I, I'm not trying to be funny, but the guy's an idiot, man. Two days after murdering her, he went on Instagram Live bragging about it. Talking about how he caught a body. The genius even posted a video two hours after the death. Smoking a blunt and pointing his gun at the camera. Idiot. But it didn't go unrewarded, right? He won the grand prize. You're in jail, buddy. Couldn't be me. Matter of fact, I'm about to go all the Chick-fil-A right now. See how dumb of a decision that was in hindsight, man? For the next 40 years, you can't even go get you a chicken biscuit for Chick-fil-A, man. Can't travel. Can't just go take a nice, refreshing walk around the block. Do you enjoy having sex with women? Good for you. Not going to happen for a long time again, buddy. But this is the life you chose. Trying to steal cars. In reality, y'all didn't steal nothing. You exchanged the car for your life. Again, an idiot. I just want these young dudes to think more clearer, man. Because me, as a black man, myself, I'm tired of seeing this. We have a lot more to offer than robbing people, killing people. Go try to be on the news for something else, fam. And I try to stay out of women business, right? But the same for the women as well. You want to be known, be known for something more than your booty hole being brown, fam. Seriously, we have a lot more to offer. Stop giving these people more reasons to stereotype us. But in conclusion, I'm glad these guys were caught. Glad they didn't take it lightly on them. I don't care if the guy was 17 years old. He killed somebody. And hopefully the other two guys get it just as bad. But that's my thoughts on it. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments, like the video, subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one, but I'm gone.